Um, okay. <laughs> Am I back? <laughs> uh, um... No, I didn't tell Squeo I was on live. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so what I... Is that better, though? By the way, is my microphone better? My microphone volume? Um, anyway, what happened was I, I had it set to my old headset, my computer headset, which is down here. And so it was picking up my voice from, like, super far away. Um... Sorry, is it really loud? I'll turn it down now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, if you didn't pick up on what I was saying, I was saying that I'm really, really bad about knowing what's going on in a story uh, if I'm interacting with chat. So I've made a compromise that I will not read chat during main story arcs. So there are going to be long periods of time where I will not be speaking with you. And I feel really bad about that because I love interacting with chat. So what I did was I made a thing. Gosh darn it, it keeps starting a thing. Uh, I made a, 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 a nightbot command and it's um, exclamation point M-E, you know, for Mass Effect. <laughs> so me uh that you can put in if anybody asks why am i not interacting with chat why isn't she responding to my questions why is she being so mean if a regular comes in and wonders why i'm in a bad mood <laughs> please use this prompt and it's open to anyone so everyone can post this so i'll post it now um but that's that's what nightbot will say uh the one up is normally very interactive with chat, but since it's the first time playing through the Mass Effect game, she wanted to get a deeper immersion. Has said it in interact with chat only between missions or plot lines. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so please, please, uh, don't don't be sad or or frustrated if I don't respond to your questions. I'm just trying to be a, a good Mass Effect person and, and really get the most out of this game. Um, <laughs> me should be X as a butt. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, I did not send a message to Squee. I will send a message to Squee. Um, and thank you, Vahitas. I will, I will message Squee because he did say that he wanted to be around for this. I'll just let him know. Just FYI, I'm starting Mass Effect today. Okay. But, uh... Yeah, me too. I, I really want to enjoy this, which is part of why I'm not interacting with stream. It sounds so horrible. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I will actually interact with you guys initially um, because I, I, I want... I know you can design your own character, so I'm going to... I already have a character on here that I started forever ago, and I only got... I really didn't get far in, and I don't remember what happened in the game. So I'm gonna have to delete my character and start a new one because I don't even, oh, start a new career. See, there it is. It's not even here. I just, I don't even remember what happened, so. Uh, but you guys will get to see me watch my, watch me design, design my face. Um, about Borderlands 2? Yeah, go for it. Um, I don't know much about Mass Effect, but sure. I mean, sorry, Borderlands. I've played it, sort of, but I didn't finish it. <laughs> John Shepard. No, I want a female. Sweet. Jane. Her name's going to be Katie. Why? Because that's my name. Spelled the right way. <laughs> Katie Shepard. You have this face for about 60 hours. <laughs> okay, deal. <laughs> Femship! I hope so. Max Panic, this is gonna be fun. Oh no, why is there data corruption? Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre service history. Sounds like me, minus the very last part. My parents were military, so. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Spacer is actually, sounds most like my real life life, so Confirm I will go Spacer. I'm all alone.
Cool. Cool. I'm not like that. I'm too bubbly. <laughs> I'm going to say war hero. Kind of a leader-ish type. Kind of. Is Katie short for something? Yeah. My name is Katie. It's short for Catherine. <laughs> Catholomew. Catholomew. <laughs> it's short for awesome. Oh, I see. Can I turn up the game music? I can turn up the game music. <clears throat> Hopefully. Does that help any at all? Let me turn this up. Does that help? I can also turn my volume down so you can turn all, everything up. Is that better? Can you tell me if the balance is better? These three actually affect your conversations and choices later. Oh, great. No pressure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Soldier. Okay, so sounds very well-rounded. Cool. There's so much pressure, I don't know. Long range, ooh. Hmm, that looks good. I'm gonna say probably infiltrator. Confirm facial identification. Change appearance. Can you make a suggestion? You can make a suggestion, but I might not take it. Hey noodles! <laughs> uh I don't know. Is this an Xbox exclusive? Cycle presets. Facial structure. Okay, so this is the face I'm going to be stuck with for 60 hours, huh? Her, loop is, her lips are so droopy. I guess I can probably fix that, huh? I'm so white. <laughs> Ugh. About that little one on the cheek, right there. That's perfect. Neck thickness. Ugh. <laughs> I'm a husky woman. <laughs> smiley cheeks ear size I don't know <laughs> so much pressure <laughs> man she looks crazy I don't know <laughs> why does she look nuts Too much destiny. Uh, is her is her hair white and gold or blue and black? Ha ha ha! <laughs> I don't know any of these things. I just uh, iris color. Ooh. Wow, if she's gonna look anything like me. It's probably gonna be like that. Jaw. No, I don't want to mess with this. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Why does she look crazy? I think it's cause I need to. There, I need to raise this because that. <laughs> Maybe it's the mouth depth. Is that the issue here? <laughs> Duck lips. I don't know. 
Why does she look crazy? She looks absolutely insane. Okay, she didn't look insane. That's not the right word for it, but it's just... <laughs> I'm having a really hard time with this. I don't know if you can tell. needs a little crazy to survive. Indeed. Nose depth? I don't know. I don't know. Is that why it looks so crazy? Is is it because I no, it just she looks so why am I no <laughs> maybe hair will help. Maybe I'll just change my hair and it'll all be better. Hmm, that's actually probably the best. Sure. Makeup! Yay! <laughs> uh, ooh, baby. Ooh. Now, if she was anything like me, it would be like that. <laughs> hey, one person, what's up? She, she has crazy eyes. I don't know what it is. Hey, Toad. Um, let's see. I give her dark lips. She should be a stirrus. I give her the red. It just is such an obnoxious color. Red, pink. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna give her dark lips. Or maybe I'll just give her crazy eyeshadow, like dark stuff, and then just keep her lips neutral. Yeah, I think I'll do that, actually. Finalize! Construction complete. Mummy rotted lips? What? <laughs> yes, femship for the win. Crazy gothic trick to the rescue. Darn right. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, okay, there's so much pressure. Ah! Normal to begin with. Um, manually assigned. Squad only. Uh, sure? I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, we'll have subtitles. Target assistant medium. Oh, I'm gonna need a high baby. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll change it later if I need to. <laughs> no, no auto. Okay, I'm sorry. No auto level up. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. Squad AI will only use defensive powers to protect themselves or others. I, 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 I don't know. Active. Sure. Yes, auto save sounds good. Okay, 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 people are so mad. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to play this game, okay? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, knock it off, Guardian. Okay, here goes nothing. All right, guys, I'm minimizing chat. See ya. Well, 
what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She proved herself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. <laughs> I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> whoa, whoa, controls. Okay. The Captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. You probably don't want to keep the Captain waiting, Commander. Getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectre's visit. There's something 
Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> Marines are meant to fight. He just fixes us up when we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. But don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. Give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. <laughs> Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. 
We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Holy crap. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Well, that's freaky. Gauging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Try this. Toxic seals. Sure, I'll take it. Oop. Put it away. There we go. Oh, there's an overheating thing. Cool. Hey, 
no, no, no. <laughs> I don't have many teammates. Nope. Nope. Is there a way to lock on? Well, I guess I'm not reading chat, so I can't ask. Okay, won't let me do that. Just fine. Oh, I'm dying? Why? Stab! So wiggly. Dang it. Okay. Glad my teammate is useful. <laughs> Not now, Commander. <laughs> Ripped right through his shields. We're at a chance. <sighs> the mission. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. Okay, good. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. Any goodies? Nope. Okay, so apparently sniping is really hard for moving targets. <laughs> Metagel, Omnigel. Okay. Woo! Damn. Check out my squid. Ooh, accuracy. Yes. First aid looks nice. Can I put him on healing duty? Did they heal me? Cool. 
Cool. Yeah. All right, neat. I guess. Armor plating. Ooh. Can I use it? Item is gone forever. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, please. He just looked like a larger woman. So I was really confused. <laughs> Alright. I think that's all I've gotten so far. Nope. 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 There we go. shoot the back of his head. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Aiming is hard. <laughs> Cute. It's a shame I have to kill them. Pew pew. Okay. It must be traumatic. Woo! Okay, this is where I think I'll use maybe my sniper. Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? You okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Move out! Yay! I like her suit. <laughs> Ooh. 
There's no option for... Oh, sniper rifle. There it is. Just doesn't look like one. Oh. Thought I got armor piercing rounds. Hmm. Squid. What does she use? Nope. Oh, I guess I can just adjust what she uses. Welp. Pistols. Oh, she likes assault rifles. <laughs> well... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that was a little traumatic. Watching your friend and squad member get toasted. Waypoint. Right here. Oh, neat. Already toast. B. Oh, neat. Whoa! Woo Sprint out into combat. Oh, back. It's like the select button. Okay, that makes sense. Hold on. Crate first. Crate more important. Pistol, shotgun, assault rifle. Cool. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. I just picked up a weapons upgrade for that. Why am I feeling like that's not actually the case? <laughs> oh, it's a type of shotgun. Uh, or a type of, uh, type of... Change of plans, okay, Shepard. never mind. I get it. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh god, you're still alive. What did the 
I can't do to them. That's horrible. Too close! Too close for comfort! Holy crap. Okay. Woo! Dang it! Friendly fire a thing in this game? Okay. Okay, okay. So I can choose which one I want. Uh, okay. Sweet. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Oh, you look crazy. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. <laughs> he is nuts. <laughs> what else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, <laughs> gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Yeah, he's nuts. Any goodies for me? No? I did a mini game for nothing. <laughs> Hey, squad, squid, I have a thing for you. Hey. Uh... How come, can I not equip this? That one's much better. 
I feel like there's gonna be a lot of like menu visiting, which I'm not a huge fan of. Like having to check my menu every 10 to 15 seconds is not fun for me. Salmon. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find a Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. That's not cool. Hey, that was my Spectre. Thank you very much. You have no right to take it away. Off in the distance. So creepy. What well, I totally should have hit him. Mm-mm. It's -mm. not clear. Come on. Well, it's a good thing he's just standing there. If I kneel, do I have like increased accuracy? Nope. Come on! I should have hit him like at least three of those shots. Easy decryption. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. It was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. Yeah, that's creepy. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? 
We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. I have to go. Hey, Cole. Very blessed. Just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. This should help. Let's move out. Cool. Good luck. Well, they're AIs, so they can probably handle less accuracy than I can. How do I know when I, uh, have points to spend? I don't even know. I want charm. <laughs> can I upgrade my charm? I can become a specter? I guess I thought the specter was a race. Maybe not. Hmm, yes. Max out my charm. Hmm, yes. So why is grenade select? It's so odd to me. Uh, is that all I can change? Okay. Gameplay? Hmm. Welp. that horn. I don't know what it means. Commander, it's not us. Gur? Containment. A Turian? You know him? Oh, Turian, not Spectre. My bad. He's a Spectre. He was with us in the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, 
I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> if you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Burning. Ew. Woo. Oh, come on. <laughs> Close range sniping. That is how we do. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. So, uh... Yeah. I guess. It's pretty cool. Hold on. Hmm. 
Oh. <laughs> Probably should have had them move forward since they're closer range. Oh well. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Cool, man. Woo. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Okay, you guys can help. Like you can you can run around and find them too. Oh my gosh, stop. Stop. Ah! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Welp. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought it was starting me back on the ship, and I was like, no way. Demolition charges. The get okay. lost the planet. Let's try this again. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. in this game. There we go. Oh, I should have hit him.
man. Oh, the crab. Um, yes. Do that thing. <laughs> Julie, do the thing. have much time. So Heidi. Okay, you guys, take care of it. Monkeys. Not cool, man. Help. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! Uh, oh, it's back here. fatigued after sprinting for a half second. There. Any goodies? Let's get Loot comes before safety of humanity. All right, fine. Fine. Slow jog. <laughs> Yoink. Nice. Oops, pressed X. Dang.
And you know what? They don't have any good ones. Accuracy. Ugh. No thanks. I haven't been using my grenades. I just don't think about select as being an actual button in a game. Hmm. I equip these. Yes, please. Can I have him open stuff for me? So I don't have to do it? Because that would be nice. Yay. Is it worth it? So I can have someone else open that for me? Maybe?
Yeah, she doesn't, I don't think she, no. Hold on. Nope, wait. Yes. Cool. Alright, don't know what most of that does, but I guess I'll figure it out as I go. I hope I don't have to do this much. Like, I can understand the appeal of having everything, like, super customizable, but to a point, they're very diminishing returns when you have to spend so much time figuring out which tiny details you want to change. So I hope this doesn't persist through the other two games. Because it's just, it's too labor intensive for the little returns it gives. Normandy, the beacon this is, is secure. amazing. Requesting Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. What are you doing? Shepard! No! Don't touch her! It's too dangerous! Welp, I broke it. Sorry, guys. identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. very unhappy. <laughs> Doctor? Doctor Chakwas? I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. 
but I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement, signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> well, I am. <laughs> Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. Again, Somebody wasn't doing their job. The in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Gith would have wiped part. out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. <laughs> You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Gith. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Gath, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <laughs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. <laughs> I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. No puzzle solving for that one, thank goodness. Good 
timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. <laughs> sizes and everything why so touchy joker i'm just saying you need firepower too look at that monster its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the alliance fleet good thing is on our side then citadel control this is ssv normandy requesting permission to land stand by for clearance normandy clearance granted you may begin your approach transferring you to an alliance operator roger alliance tower normandy out This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. <sighs> and that's why I hate politicians. All right, so I remembered that I actually have a meeting at two o'clock. They bumped the TGN meeting up. So I need to end now, um, but I do want to catch up on chat, if there was any, let's see. Yay, there was chat, all right, woo, yay. Let's see. Um, our booty was here. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I still haven't used any grenades because it's not intuitive to me to use the select button for it. Sniping with a controller. It goes like this. Whew. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Welcome, Comb. Yeah, I'm going to max out my sniper rifle perks if I can. Galaxy is doomed. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's super con it's super crazy the the sniper rifle if I just let go of the thing just zooms around. Yeah, it's true Arvudi. I agree that uh I'm your character is kind of lame at the beginning, which is very true to life. Piloting a pig in Minecraft. <laughs> Elevators, best part of the game. <laughs> Omnage all the useless mods and sell in between missions. Yeah, it makes sense. Maxes out pistol skill, uses sniper rifle exclusively. Pretty much. <laughs> Welcome, Libra Knight. Romance Rex. I don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> if Wayne does that to me, he just walks by and goes, Shepherd, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> hey, Jen Pants. The shepherd looks like Katie. She starved herself. <laughs> Epic part hype. Who's Conrad? <laughs> it's fun to read you guys talking without me interrupting.
Welcome, Kevin Cool. Okay, cool. Sorry, I just caught up on chat. So you guys are like, wow, she's not doing anything. Uh, okay. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining. Uh, thank you for letting me catch up on chat. I So far, so good. I'm enjoying this. Uh, I like the ability to choose all of my responses, though some of them don't come out of her mouth the way I think them, so that's a little unfortunate. Um, but, but yeah, thank you everyone for joining. Thank you for following. Follow if you haven't already. Um, I will continue this on Thursday. Tomorrow is Wreck Me Wednesday, so make sure you come in tomorrow evening and challenge me to some rumble, because I am ready. You guys are going down, man. Um, yeah, I think I'll be uploading these let's, uh, as a Let's Play to, to YouTube. We'll see. Yeah. Anyhow, all right, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for joining. Thank you for keeping up chat, even though I wasn't participating, and thank you for understanding why I'm not uh, interacting with chat during gameplay because I do want to get like really into the game which I was able to do today which was fantastic uh yeah hate the menu the the equipment upgrade system that is just so tedious but I'll I'm sure I'll get the hang of it and figure out what is even worth upgrading or not or whatever slapping it on before I have to just get rid of anything anyway um but yeah all right well i will see you guys tomorrow and if not tomorrow then we'll continue with mass effect on thursday and uh yeah i guess i'll see you guys later bye